Good morning CMS and happy Friday, October 30th. All right, please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, moving to today's menu, Friday's menu. We got Mummy's Dog, which is a hot dog, Spider French Fries, which are waffle fries, Haunted Trees, which is broccoli, Candy Corn Parfait, Lemon Pudding, and Mandarin Oranges with Whipped Cream. Now, we move on to choice B. That would be Grave Digger's Pizza, which is breakfast pizza. And remember, today is Halloween, so hopefully you got some really cool outfits. And if you're listening to me talk, that means we're still face-to-face -face learning. All right, now we move on to Monday, Mongoose Monday. For the menu for Monday is choice A, lasagna roll-ups with marinara, breadstick, steam green beans, pears, or fresh fruit. Choice B, sausage pizza. Now, for breakfast, we have a breakfast break and milk. Now, with announcements, we have attention all 7th and 8th grade boys. We have basketball tryouts starting on Friday. That's today, October 30th. The 8th graders will have it from 3 to 5 in the rec center, and that's going to take place Monday and Friday. So this Friday, which is today, from 3 to 5, and Monday from 3 to 5 in the rec center. 7th graders, attention all 7th graders. You have tryouts Friday and Saturday. So you have it today from 3 to 5 and Saturday from 12 to 1.30. And the 12 to 1.30 on Saturday is going to be taking place at the high school. Any questions, ask Mr. Murphy. And we now move on to the Tri-C distributors. I've made announcements on this for quite a while. All right, it is the PTO looking to raise funds for next year. That's happening October 22nd to November 11th. Have any questions or for more information, please. There's a website link that can be found on the morning announcement webpage or Mr. Madigan's blog. Now, moving on, we have the end of our Red Ribbon Week videos. This is the last video. Enjoy. I was in first grade and um, our first grade teacher asked everybody, you know, what do you want to be when you get older? And, um, and everybody put doctors and uh, teachers and firemen and astronaut and I put I want to be an Olympic athlete. And, uh, and that's a true story. <laughs> So I played sports ever since I was a young girl. Um, in college I played field hockey, basketball and track. Uh, I didn't know what sport I was going to pick to go all the way. I decided that, you know, maybe triathlons, you know, I wasn't sure so I tried that out and a lot of people, um, you know, noticed me running all the time. They're like, oh, are you a fighter? I was like, no, I'm not a fighter. I keep training for triathlons. Are you a fighter? And I'm like, why is everybody asking me if I'm a fighter, you know? Finally I was like, you know what, I'm going to give this sport a try as well. It was such a humbling experience because I wasn't just great at it. You know, I knew that this was a sport that was going to take hard work and it was going to take a lot of practice and I was up for the challenge. I'm number one in the nation right now. I got the gold medal at the USA National Championship. So now I'm on Team USA. The decision to stay drug free um, really molded my whole life. Um, I, I definitely had a lot of opportunities and times in my life where I could have easily have chose, you know, the easy route, you know, to try to be cool or by doing drugs, you know, but I didn't choose that. Um, to me, that wasn't cool. And to me, that coolness would not last and wouldn't get you anywhere and wouldn't amount to anything. And I had a friend in college that was smarter than me, um, could, you know, 
was a genius English major. He was smart, he was getting all A's, his papers were amazing, he was getting better grades than I was. And uh, then he started hanging around with the wrong crowd and smoking pot. He started skipping classes because he was too lazy to go to class. It just got so bad that he flunked classes. He had to retake classes all over again. I don't even know if he even graduated. You know, it, it really ruins your, your name and who you are and what you're going after in life. And, you know, that's, it's really important to just stay focused and be around, you know, positive people. And you want to be remembered as somebody that was a hard worker. They accomplished a lot of things. They tried new things. And that's what's important. I really like setting goals and achieving them and looking back at them and saying, wow, I did that. Wow, I, I completed that. Um, rather it be a goal in, let's just say when I started boxing, um, I said to myself right when I started the sport, I'm going to be a professional boxer. I'm going to be in the Olympic Games. And uh, five years later, I'm, I stuck with it and all that hard work is paying off and I'm on Team USA now and I'm on my route to the 2016 Rio Olympic Games. I'm Daniel Wolf, and my natural high is boxing. What's yours? All right, now we move on to the bulletin board. November 6th, end of the first quarter. It's happening November 6th. Now, November 9th is the start of the second quarter, and we have picture retake day, November 11th. And on the 25th to the 27th, Thanksgiving break. All right, the quote of the day. Study while others are sleeping. Work while others are loafing. Prepare while others are playing. And dream while others are wishing. Students, remember your cult pride. Be respectful, be responsible, and be safe. All right, with that being said, everybody, you guys have a wonderful weekend. Have a wonderful Friday. Be safe out there for Halloween. And, of course, be blessed, Cloverleaf.